Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 Legendary Open Guy once again. My name is Predict Zeus. And boys, what we're going to be looking at in today's video is how to get our hands on a pistol that you may or may not have heard of called the Flood. Now, the Flood is a very unique Jacob's Revolver that was added into Borderlands 3, completely unique to its game, which kind of ignores the old Jacob gimmick. As you know, back in the day on Borderlands 2, no Jacob's was ever fully auto. So basically what Jacob's have done is they've taken a revolver and just made it the most fast fire rate pistol pretty much in the the game. So as always boys, we'll go straight into how we actually get our hands on this gun and then into the stats and then a little bit about it. So if that does sound good and you are new around here, please consider going ahead and leaving a like and subscribing because it is massively appreciated by me. It means the absolute world to me. And without further ado boys, let's just jump straight into how we actually get our hands on this gun. Really quickly guys, I will just add, to get this gun, you are going to be farming an enemy called a Lagrimar and he's basically a enemy from a mission that I've previously done. So this is basically just a pre-recorded clip of when I did it the first time because I was going to the mission anymore to show you how to get the mission in order to farm the boss in order to get the pistol. But to get your hands on this quest guys what you're going to want to do is make your way to Pandora and from there scroll down to Conrad's Hold. But essentially what you're going to have to do guys is make your way through the map until you get to the spawn location of the Manvark or also the Slaughter Shaft location. From there you're going to want to turn right and actually jump off the tracks here and you're going to be a bunch of Varkids and an old Eurydian kind of mine temple looking door thing. Now if you haven't accepted it already guys on the floor around here somewhere is going to be a mission called Demon in the Dark. Now essentially you're just going to run through the mission like you can see me doing on screen here. Eventually you're going to get to a point where you farm a boss and this guy is going to be the guy that actually drops the gun for you. Now for me guys I did put this on Mayhem 2 and just went ahead and farmed him a couple times and I did actually get the Elon gun to drop a third time. Now apologies guys because I actually have no internet I wasn't able to update my borderlands so that's why the gameplay might be a bit choppy in some places. Now I don't want to give too much away guys but basically there's a point in the mission where you have to shoot a bunch of things through rings um, and basically that's where the save and quit station is which if you didn't know it's very close to the boss fight itself so guys now that you've got your hands on this really cool pistol let's go ahead and take a look at this thing's stats okay guys so as far as i'm aware there isn't actually any different prefixes for this gun and it doesn't come in any elements i know that for sure so my prefix and the one we will be looking at in today's video is actually a non-anointed just the flood but damage is 1149 with an accuracy of 29 percent so already the damage is okay for a pistol but the accuracy Actually kind of lets it down a bit. The handling is 56% with a short 1.9 reload speed. The fire rate is an insane 11.55 seconds with a magazine size of 8. The red text is take us and as you can see we do get that added critical hit damage boost like we expect from most Jacob's guns as well with a 15% reload speed. Critical hits ricochet one bullet at the nearest enemy like most of the other pistols but pretty much that's as much as you're going to get for this gun especially if it's not anointed at least. So obviously guys this is just how to get the gun itself it's not like a get this gun because it's the best pistol because in my opinion I'd give this pistol like a 6 out of 10 it's really cool at first because of that insane fire rate and it's a big shock to get it from a revolver but after like a you know a fair few minutes of using it I get really bored of reloading because pretty much because of its insane fire rate that's all you're going to be doing it's just 24 7 reloading this thing it will do okay with like the average mobs but when you start getting to like the Malawad enemies like the tanks or the Gigamine sort of people it's really not going to do that much much for you and it's just ending up having to be like a reload fest you know but that's just my opinion guys the good thing about these videos is i just show you how to get the gun and we can leave in the comment section what we think about it but anyway guys that's gonna just about do it for today's legendary weapon guide i really do hope it helped you try and find this really cool legendary gun this is its specific drop so you can actually go ahead and farm it for an anointed if you wanted one but yeah that's gonna be it guys so if it did help you please go ahead and share it with your friends leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here join the zeus boys we just hit 800 subscribers boys you're the best let's go for that massive 1k now anyway boys i love you all and i'll catch you in the next video peace